back. Now it's time for the nutrition segment right here on Wake Up Nigeria. And today's topic is really interesting. Did anyone in your secondary school or when you were younger ever tell you you had stunted growth or you are stunted or you're just not tall enough? Now we're going to be talking with Dr. Uduka Umaju. Uh, Dr. Kalu is always uh, a really great joy to talk to, especially on issues like this. He's a medical doctor at Quincy Wellness Naturopathic Center. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so <laughs> stunted growth, especially with regards to children. Um, uh, I'm not sure if many people have had the conversation on it being about the nutrition of the child or not, but just tell us what it is exactly, stunted growth. All right, so um, stunted growth is primarily, primarily a, a function of undernutrition. Okay. Because obviously you're not getting enough to build and then you're... You're stunted. Okay. Um, There's the, a, is there some kind of, um, <clears throat> is there something I can use as a parent to find out if my child is growing at the right rate? Yeah, there's a chart. So mm. uh, the, the Blacher came up with a growth chart, you know, that puts the height of the child against the age. Okay. And um, there are several percentiles, you mm. know, there are lines across the chart. Okay. So when you check your child's height, and you know you match that up with the child's age mm. you can tell okay what percentile does my child fall under okay so if your child falls under like say the 95th percentile it means okay. mm. only five percent of children mm. your child's age are taller okay the remaining are shorter or okay. you know about the same height yeah if your child falls under the fifth percentile okay it means everybody's Almost everybody's taller than so your child. So 95% are taller than your child. Yes, right? so 95% and mm -hmm. above are taller than your child. So that's, it, it gives you an idea. Okay. You know, when 95% of, it means you're not doing very well. Mm. So obviously. Mm. You, so the that's the is... indicator that your child could be having stunted growth. Yes. Yeah. Now, with regards to nutrition and what the child is consuming, um, okay. what can we as parents do to make sure that we're giving the child what they need, what do they need exactly? Okay, you know, because um, in the first two, uh, like stunted growth is usually curbed. The effects are maximum within the first 1,000 days. That's from the time the child is conceived okay. till the child's second birthday. Okay. So if you get the nutrition right at mm -hmm. that point, mm -hmm. chances are the child won't be stunted. But then it's not just a factor of nutrition. Because there are certain health <coughs> conditions, of you know, course. if the child has a congenital heart defect, mm. if a child has some metabolic issues, so mm. they are not absorbing nutrients, and, mm. you know, and then a lot of diseases as well, mm. the child might not be able to, so it's not just the nutrition. Mm. So, but, you know, like I said, the maternal part where when the woman is pregnant, mm. she has to obviously do antenatals and all, because yeah. you check, monitor the child's growth while still in the uterus. And then after the child is born, mm. It's advised that you breastfeed the child exclusively mm. for the first six months, because then... You mentioned something about um, conception, yes. right? From conception, is mommy supposed to be eating certain types of foods? And if yes, what are they? Uh, well, the foods should just be rich in... Because, you know, when pregnant women have tend to have uh, a reduction in blood. So okay. you have to eat things that would build up your blood. Okay get a lot of folic acid because you course. know this um the, the deficiency of that has led to a lot of um, neural tube defects and all okay and then of course your basic diets protein carbohydrates you know just you mm. know have a lot of all that stuff mm. so that your baby can gas your babies you're, you're eating for two now of course. or one and a half you mm. know <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure so yeah. are there some foods mommy should stay away from to prevent uh, a child's growth from being stunted after being born I don't necessarily just need to stay away from harmful, you know, things mm. like smoking, obviously, okay. alcohol, mm. you know, all that thing. All those stuff are mm, yeah. associated with um, intrauterine growth restrictions. Okay. So that's what you want to stay away from. But okay. basically, mommy should give her what she wants. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. When, yeah. when baby has been born, you said the first two years, 
is when um, you notice whether there's stunted growth. Or no, that's when you can curb it. Oh, that's when you so can curb it. So the first six months after okay. a baby is born, okay. you should breastfeed exclusively. Okay. Breast milk has enough nutrients mm. to nourish the child. Mm. After six months, you have to complement because mm. baby can't get enough of mm. what they need to mm. grow. They need a lot of proteins, a lot of carbohydrates, you know, mm -hmm. vitamins, all that stuff. Give them everything. Okay. You know, it's not like um, obesity in an adult where you're like, and mm -hmm. eh, let me watch what I'm giving this child mm -hmm. so he doesn't get fat. So give them what they want because they're building rapidly, their mm -hmm. brain, mm -hmm. you know, they're developing mm -hmm. rapidly. So mm -hmm. they need a lot of all that energy. So stunted growth now, when we think about it, we often refer to height. But is it only about the height of the child? Is there any other indicator physically of stunted growth? Well, it's mostly the height. Because, okay. um, you know, sometimes if there's no primary deficiency in any particular nutrient, okay. let's say, for instance, if there's a protein deficiency that is, you know, that's very visible, mm. the child could have kwashoko okay. or marasmus, you know. Okay. Yeah, but otherwise, the child is just generally small. Okay. So there's no, it's just, you know, the child just appears to look <coughs> short, mm -hmm. still proportional mm -hmm. to body parts, but, you know, just quite small okay. and not growing as well as should. So. so it's not a myth, this issue of proteins being the building blocks? Yeah, they're the building blocks of life. So protein, <laughs> eating beans every day might just help the child get taller? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> All right then. So, <laughs> Dr. Kali, thank you so much for thank coming you. to talk to us this morning.